1984 explores the concept of totalitarianism, a political system in which a single party or individual exerts complete control over every aspect of society. In such a system, the government attempts to regulate every minute of individuals' lives, from their private thoughts to their social interactions and even their personal relationships. Written in the late 1940s, George Orwell aimed to provide a vivid depiction of life under a tyrannical regime. Orwell's understanding of this was derived from his observations of the Soviet Union and Nazi Germany, two tyrannical governments that had emerged recently and were not yet fully comprehended. Through 1984, Orwell sought to convey to his readers a clear picture of the potential consequences of a free country like England falling under this rule. The novel explores how this type of government exerts control over people's thoughts, beliefs, and actions, creating a dystopian society where individual freedom is suppressed. The oppressive weight of the city hangs heavy in the air. Hunger gnaws at every corner, with meager rations barely scraping by. Forget vibrant markets and bustling shops. Clothes and necessities are a distant memory. The cityscape itself is a bleak expanse, dominated by ominous, pyramid-shaped government buildings that pierce the sky. A war rages on, its purpose shrouded in mystery. Explosions erupt from the streets with chilling regularity, a constant reminder of the city's fragility. But the true terror lies not in the bombs or the hunger pangs. It's the feeling of being constantly scrutinized. Big Brother's face, plastered on every wall, seems to follow your every move. The omnipresent slogan, Big Brother is watching you, isn't a warning, it's a cruel mockery of privacy. There's no escape from the ever-watching eyes of the thought police. Cameras and microphones lurk in every corner, a constant reminder that your privacy is an illusion. Even your own house isn't safe. The ever-present TV screen acts as a government window, a chilling reminder that Big Brother is always monitoring. How about switching it off? Not an option. This society thrives on control, dictating every aspect of your life. Dissent is a dangerous game, punishable by forced labor camps. The ever-present threat hangs heavy, reminding everyone of the consequences of nonconformity. Forget close friends, forget love, the party. The ever-present government dictates every facet of your life. Intimacy is forbidden, replaced with a sole devotion to their ideology. Your emotional energy is theirs to claim. Their programming dominates your TV screen, a constant barrage of propaganda. News? More like twisted narratives. Even your free time is stolen. Compulsory pep rallies like the horrifying two minutes hate leave no room for independent thought. The party bombards you with information, ensuring you have no space of your own. At 39, Winston Smith is a cog in the oppressive machine of the government. His life is a desolate wasteland, devoid of love or friendship. But a flicker of rebellion ignites within him. In a daring act, Winston starts a diary, a forbidden haven for his forbidden thoughts. Here, he dares to question the suffocating reality he's known, yearning for a life beyond the party's control. The past is a weaponized mystery. History books, rewritten by the government, offer no glimpse of a different world. Winston craves the truth, yearning to know if freedom ever existed before the party's iron grip. At the outset, two figures flicker on Winston's radar, both shrouded in a mix of hope and trepidation. Julia, a captivating young woman working alongside him, stirs a cocktail of emotions. Her beauty both inflames his desire and fuels his paranoia. He suspects her of blind loyalty to the party, a potential informant for the thought police. Yet her vibrancy sparks a fascination he can't deny. On the other hand, O'Brien, a powerful inner party member, represents a different kind of enigma. Though far above Winston's station and someone he should fear, O'Brien exudes an air of intelligence. Winston yearns for a connection, a kindred spirit who might grasp his delusionment with the party's control. The world tilts on its axis when Julia's forbidden note, confessing love, lands in Winston's hand. Hope explodes within him, a flicker of rebellion against the ever watchful eyes. Their yearning for connection is a constant battle against the omnipresent spies. Stealing precious moments in the countryside, they ignite a passionate love affair. The thrill is intoxicating fueled by the very danger of discovery. The potential for brutal punishment, forced labor camps looming large, only intensifies the bond. 
For the first time, Winston isn't alone. Julia, a kindred spirit, mirrors his loathing for the party, offering a solace he craved. Consumed by rebellion, Winston craves more than a love affair. He yearns to actively defy the party. Opportunity knocks when O'Brien, a high-ranking official, invites Winston to his apartment, a highly unusual act in this suspicious society. Winston, fueled by hope, interprets this as a sign of O'Brien's descent. He and Julia embolden confess their desire to rebel. To their astonishment, O'Brien confirms their suspicions, offering them a forbidden book that supposedly reveals the truth behind the party's control. Winston devours the book, his spirit soaring, but their elation is short-lived. The thought police storm in, shattering their fragile hope. Winston and Julia are apprehended, dragged to the Ministry of Love, a place of unimaginable torment. O'Brien's invitation, a trap. Winston and Julia, captured, tortured in the Ministry of Love. Broken, starved, Winston confesses everything about himself and Julia. O'Brien reveals the party's ultimate goal, complete control over minds. They want Winston to believe 2 plus 2 equals 5, not just for survival, but as a pure power play. Room 101 shatters Winston. Facing his greatest fear, rats, he betrays Julia, the one person he cared for, screaming to save himself. Shattered, Winston betrays Julia. The party, its power asserted, releases them. But love is a casualty. Winston, a broken shell, embraces conformity. In a cafe, a chilling smile on his face, he utters the final words, I love Big Brother. 1984 explores the fragility of truth. Can anyone truly believe a lie that 2 plus 2 equals 5 under extreme duress? The answer is chilling, yet the book whispers hope. Brainwashing, as seen with Winston, takes immense effort, a testament to the human spirit's resilience.